question is how these pages exploded. Um, could you give me a sense, just hearing, you know, the top lines of this, this breaking news coming through, what are your initial uh, reaction? Okay, so the, the range of possibilities of how this could be done is, um, is limited. Yeah. There, it is hard to imagine that a remote detonation of a mere pager would cause this kind of damage. We're still learning, but it does seem like injuries are significant, at least from the reporting so far. Uh, what is in the range of possible is Israel somehow uh, infiltrated the distribution of the pagers. Hezbollah is a organized uh, uh, entity, terrorist organization. Uh, they need their people to communicate in ways that are not using public data or public Wi-Fi, and pagers tend to be the way. And so uh, the, the the question I have, the most likely scenario is uh, that this this happened in the supply chain, that, that somehow uh, the distribution of the pagers to Hezbollah members um, were pagers that Israel at some stage, um, if it's Israel, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, it, it, the, the most likely uh, uh, perpetrator of this, yeah. that whoever planned this uh, would be able to detonate simultaneously uh, uh, to wreck the most havoc on, uh, on, on the threat. I will say, secondly, communications is key. This is, this is, this is for organizations to be able to organize a fundraise, recruit, plan, uh, they need to be able to communicate um, amongst each other. So going after Hezbollah's communications network uh, is in some ways more significant than going after a single leader uh, because they are going to be scrambling. They don't know who to trust. They don't know how to communicate. Uh, Hezbollah leadership doesn't even know who's hurt. Uh, so this is what someone like me would look at in these early moments of what is happening uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, southern Lebanon.